What's up guys, welcome back once again to Data Reviews. Today I'm looking at something a little bit different. I've not really looked at anything like this before. This is an M.2 SSD enclosure, RGB one, uh, of course. Uh, and this is from Orico. Um, I got this really good deal, uh, about 15 pounds off Amazon. We're gonna test this. Uh, we're gonna put this WD Black one terabyte uh, Gen 4 drive in it, which is up to 5150 megabytes read. Uh, we're gonna put it in here, test it, and see if it basically gets to the same speeds that it's capable of with this SSD enclosure. Um, so stick with me guys and let's have a look. So this is the Orico M.2 SSD enclosure RGB version um, in a sort of aluminium color, aluminium alloy shell. Uh, it's Type-C and it's like I say, it's RGB and it's up to 10 gigabits per second. So hopefully it should match the speeds at which the drive's capable of. Um, have a quick look over this. It does come in a few different colors. You can get it in the gray, which is what I've got, silver or rose gold, again with RGB. And it basically supports M and B and M key uh, SSDs, M.2s. And it's compatible with 2230, 2242, 2260 and 2280. And it's compatible with Mac, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux and Android. Uh, so let's have a look in the box. So there's not much in the way of packaging. This is the drive itself. And then in here you get a few tools for installing it. You get a thermal pad as well to put in there. Uh, you get a, uh, some sort of rubber fastenings by the looks of it. You get a little screwdriver. And you get this little sort of carriage, which I believe is where your SSD goes in. Um, so let's have a look. So just have a look over the thing itself. You can see it's a nice sort of uh, grey finished colour. RGB lights are down the side here, and it's sort of a heatsink type material on the back here. USB-C on the end, and that's about all there is. Open it up with a little screw at the end. You can get tallest ones of these, but this one uses as a little screw. Once you've got that screw out, pop the little end cap out, and then slide the internals out, and then as you can see, you've got your M.2 M.2 mount in here, and like I can say, it's compatible all the way up to 2280. Um, so let's get an SSD installed. This is the cable that comes with it. It's USB-C at one end and then the USB-A at the other end. But also you can pop this off and you can go to straight to USB-C if you've got one of those on your motherboard or on your front I.O. Um, so we'll plug this in and then we'll see how we get on. So this is what it looks like once it's turned on and plugged in. As you can see the light's blinking at the moment because it's doing stuff. Um, so it basically blinks when it's active. And then this is the RGB lights on the side of it obviously they aren't changeable because there's no software for it it's literally just cycling through the rainbow colors um but i think you'll agree with me it looks really really nice um, nice little addition if you have a spare m.2 um nice little addition to your setup to basically transfer games and stuff if you have more than one setup um but yeah that's how it looks so let's have a talk about the testing Right, so we've got it plugged in, I've shown you what it looks like. This is basically the testing that I'm doing at the moment. I was wrong when I started at the beginning of the video and I said if it's 10 gigabits per second, it should be fine for the uh, 5,000 megabytes that this is capable of. Obviously 10 gigabits is nowhere near 5,000 megabytes. Um, so you have to divide that number by eight. Um, so as you can see, this is the testing results We're using Crystal Disk Mark. Um, we're getting a maximum read of uh, 1,072 sequential and we're getting a maximum write of 1,092. Uh, sequential and then the randoms we're getting 317 and 343 respectively on the 4k we're getting 39 and 76 um, so as you can see it isn't going to give you max speeds um, that your drive can do and i've had a look around the internet i can't find one that is capable of doing that saying that um, as far as i'm aware uh, well especially on my on my motherboard the fastest port i've got is a 20 gigabits per second you're going to need at least 40 gigabits per second to meet the rated speeds of the drive um so there's a speed test guys uh, let's go back up top and we'll have a little discussion right so there we've got the orico m.2 rgb ssd enclosure uh it's handy if you've got a spare m.2 lying around and you want to utilize that for transferring games and stuff like that between systems or if you want to back your stuff up or if you want to have a different uh windows install on it or something like that um to basically switch between i don't know different different computers uh, if you want to put your same uh, sort of windows load onto a different computer or if you basically for me like doing testing if i want to have a different windows install with nvidia drivers and then one with amd drivers and things like that then it would be handy for that kind of thing but as you can see from the testing you don't get 
your rate and speeds of the drive. It's a 5,000 uh, megabytes per second drive and I'm getting 1,072 on the read and 1,092 on the write. Um, so if you're looking for your full speeds, you ain't gonna, you're not gonna get them. Um, so just bear that in mind. Um, but however, like I say, it, is, it does what it says. It is 10 gigabits per second. It's matching the sort of speeds that you'd expect from 10 gigabits per second. Um, so you're getting what, what it says. So as an item in terms of in an M.2 enclosure sort of space, it is up there and does what it's supposed to do. And I can't see anything really getting much faster than that at all, to be fair. And it's got a bit of RGB as well. Um, so that's all there is to this, guys. I just wanted to test it myself, and I'm going to be using it for obviously testing and things like that, uh, moving stuff between computers because I've got different rigs on the go. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking at something like this, then hopefully it gives you an idea of whether you want to use it. And if you're expecting much better speeds, then obviously now you know you're not going to get them. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, please uh, don't forget to do that. If you liked uh, this video or any of my other videos, uh, give this uh, video a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't like it and uh, leave me in the comments in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching goodbye